Hi and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Steve and in this video we're going to do some troubleshooting for the Content Aware Crop Tool and the Content Aware Fill Tools because this is probably the number one question I've been getting lately in my Photoshop course on Udemy. So I want to try and help clear that up as much as possible with a video because videos are more fun to watch. By the way, if you want to join that course and you're not already in it, check out the link in the description below. And without further ado, let's talk about Content Aware Fill. Now, first thing you need to know is that Content Aware Fill was first introduced to CS5 in 2010, and Content Aware Crop was first introduced in Photoshop CC. So if you have an older version like CS5 or CS6, you're not going to have Content Aware Crop. What do I mean by content aware crop? That's when you go to the crop tool, and if you look up here, you have these little options, and one of them is content aware. Okay, and if you click that, then it allows you to expand your crop a little bit, and then when you click OK, it's gonna think about it for a minute, and it's gonna fill these transparent pixels in with something similar. And that one did a pretty good job, except for these weird tree limbs down here. But that's how Content Aware Crop works. So if you don't see it up here at all, then that means it doesn't exist in your version because you probably have something prior to Photoshop CC. And there's nothing you can really do about it at that point except upgrade to Photoshop CC, which is always a good idea anyway because it's loaded with tools and you can update it regularly with whatever new is coming out, which is awesome. Now what we really want to talk about in this video is if you have the Content Aware option here, but it's grayed out. In other words, I can't toggle back and forth to turn it on or off. It's just grayed out and it won't let you do anything. Here are some things to troubleshoot why that might be happening. The first reason is you might be in classic mode up here. So if you click on this little settings thing and you have classic mode enabled, in some cases, when you click on that and get out of that menu, this will not be able to work. In mine, it still does, but I have heard that some people have that problem. The second problem could potentially be that you're trying to crop a smart object. So if we go to my layers panel here, you'll see I have three layers. The one is just a regular image. And you can see when I enable the crop tool, I can use content to wear. Watch what happens when I click on this. And by the way, this little icon down in the lower corner tells you that this is a smart object. And by the way, you know, I'm going to control Z and undo that so it's not weird and confusing. So this little guy shows that this is a smart object. So I'm going to click on this and then see what happens. I'm in the crop tool. Content to wear is now grayed out and it won't let me do it because you can't use Content Aware with a smart object, okay? So that's the second thing to look for or think about, like, oh, am I on a smart object? Which also brings me to a point, like, go check what layer you're on. If you're trying to crop something and you're having issues, check what layer you're on, because maybe you need to be on this one, right? Okay, third thing, actually being on the right layer was the third thing. Fourth thing is you might be on a locked layer. So if I'm down here and I'm trying to crop, I have a locked layer, and you'll notice again, Content Aware is not available in the Crop tool, okay? So you either have to unlock that, or better yet, make a copy. So that's why this is layer zero copy, because I made a copy of it. So that's for Content Aware Crop, and how to troubleshoot that. Real quickly though, let's look at some of the other Content Aware tools just while we're on the subject. So if you go to Edit, you will notice there's Content Aware Fill and Content Aware Scale. This is in the newer version of Photoshop CC. If you're trying to use one of these tools while you're, say, in the Crop tool and you don't have anything selected, they're grayed out, so they're not gonna work. And so this is another question that a lot of people have, is how do I get them to work? The main issue that most people have is you have to have a selection made, okay? So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to uh, get off the crop tool, and I'm just going to grab the lasso tool because it's simple. I'm going to make a selection. Really simple, ugly selection. Make sure you've got the marching dots. And then I'm going to go to the edit, and I'm still on a smart object. 
so they're still grayed out, right? Smart object layer, okay? But if I go to, well, let's just see. If I go to the locked layer, is it gonna let it, let me do it? Is it gonna let it work? Well, content aware fill will work, but content aware scale will not work on a locked layer. Let's go to our regular, just raster layer, regular image. Still have our selection, and we go to edit. Now, I'm on a not locked layer, it's a regular raster layer, and I have a selection made. Now I can use either one of those tools. Okay, so if you're having trouble with that, those are the steps you wanna kinda of go through to try and get it working again. I hope that helps. If you have other ideas or things you've encountered with content to wear crop or content to wear fill that have gotten you out of a jam and helped you to make it work, please, please, please share those because I'm not immune from missing things and then everybody will have the fullest picture that they possibly can. So share those in the comments. If you like this video or if it helped you, hit like, hit subscribe. And by all means, if you're not already in my Photoshop course on Udemy, check out the link below and we'll just keep learning a ton more about Photoshop together. Thanks for watching and have a pixel-rific day.